Okay, on to the next Skip the Line reaction, man. And we've got another Alter Bridge. We actually have a few of them coming, so I'm sure you guys will be pretty excited about that. Uh, it obviously is brought to you by the same man that has brought you all of them, and his name is Sammy. Thank you very much for that. Uh, your message over here is, this is an epic and long Alter Bridge song from their most recent album. I think we're still waiting for your full album review. Since it has the word Fable in the title, you really have to do this one, of course. Okay, of course we have to do that. Um, I actually haven't heard their latest album. I actually should. Actually, I haven't done album reviews in a damn long time. I should probably get back to doing something like that. But uh, anyway, let's rock and roll, man. The Fable. The Fable. Fable of the Silent Sun. I almost called out my own channel. Let's uh, rock and roll. Let's see what we've got. Loving the guitar already. Lost where we can't escape. Blind to our own decay. Walk that line. Lamenting when we can let go until we. crazy thing about that is and says you know until we heal we die alone right uh i actually think um if you want to take it from another perspective over there is until we heal it will feel that way it'll feel like you're dying alone but once you've healed even if you die alone that's okay you'll accept that because you'll accept you know it's crazy to think that you know that our validation is 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 so um, tied in to what other people think of us, and the moment you actually let go of that, the moment you cut ties with that, that what other people think of you has no effect on your life, zero. It should have no effect on your life uh, with regards to what other people think of you. I think you should absolutely take feedback from other people. Feedback is super important. But what we do usually with feedback, because it's just a human nature thing, right, is we tend to take it from where it comes from, right? And because of our own insecurities, we take it as an attack on us, right? We take it as an attack on us. If someone tells you something that they don't like that you're doing, right, you'll take it as an attack because you yourself feel worthless and that's an attack. But if you... If you're at peace with yourself, anybody that gives you feedback, it will be taken as feedback and not an attack on your character. You will literally be like, okay, well, you know, they're actually just giving me valid information. Let me just think about it. Let me introspect on it a little bit. But if you're so stuck in your insecurities, right, feedback is something that you take as a character attack and it never is a character attack. It's just people giving you feedback on how they feel about certain things or how they feel about how you treating them, right? It's not an attack on your character. It's not a judgment on your character. It's not about putting you down. It's about telling you that they just don't appreciate what you're doing, right? And if you can handle that, if you can actually take feedback and actually metabolize feedback and sit there and introspect in it a little bit, be like, you know what? Let me not stick to my rightness on this one. Uh, I apologize. That was my bad. Do you know what I mean? That shows an acceptance of yourself. That shows a healing within yourself, right? And at the end of the day, whether you have people by you or not by you, right? Once you've been able to heal yourself, heal yourself truly inside, that doesn't matter at the end of the day. We, we place too much value on what other people um, say about us or what other people's uh, um, thoughts are about us and that's the society we live in at the moment right we live in a society where it's all about what other people think of us that's why we literally just litter social media with you know we put our best foot forward on social media all of the time oh look at me look at me but when you pan out of that camera your life's in complete chaos right and that over there is what's really dangerous to people because people don't actually see their misgivings. People don't actually see that they're still human and they make mistakes 
And if they stick to their rightness, things will just get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. So stop holding on to the validation of other people because that means absolutely nothing to you. What other people think of you means absolutely nothing to you. And don't be in effect of other people. That's one of the biggest, gravest mistakes we all do is that we are in effect of other people. It's like sitting behind a car and that car keeps breaking and you break and then keeps breaking and then you break and then keeps breaking and you yo-yo behind that car. What is it going to take you to overtake? take that car right don't be in effect of people don't be the guy behind that car when you go no you've got another lane and you can go off on your own right you don't need to be sitting behind that car don't let other people be you know have an effect on your life that way overtake them man it's and that's how you're going to move forward let's go i used to lie awake and sing this song Reminds me of a really amazing line that uh, NF said in one of his songs. He says, if you're looking for the old me, check the morgue. I've killed the old me a thousand times, right? And it's, it's good to do that because your life is an ever dynamic thing, right? The, the very notion that you're like, I know who I am. You'll never know who you are. And that's what's so beautiful about life. If you knew who you are, the extent of who you are, literally everything about yourself right now, your life would be, be completely and utterly meaningless. Right, the fact that it's dynamic, the fact that different situations draw out something different in you. You don't know who you are in certain circumstances. Who will you be if a despot takes over the country like Hitler and starts murdering people? Will you be the guy that's going to be falling in line, or are you going to be the guy that's going to just act like, well, I never saw that. Let me just keep quiet because if I stand up, I might suffer the same fate. You don't know that. You never. You've never had to experience that. Right in this day and age, you don't know who you are with dealing with death. You don't know who you are. Some people obviously would know. You would know that, right? You don't know who you are with when if you don't have children yet. When you get children, you might be someone different entirely. You don't know. I I thought I was a certain way, and when I got a child, I was actually very surprised to find that I'm actually very different. Right? Your life and who you are as a person is very dynamic. It's ever changing, right? And that's the most beautiful thing about that is that you are who you are in this circumstance, but in an, a, a different circumstance, you're not like that. Right? You respond to things differently, right? And all of that plays in with your fears and your morals and your values and all of that kind of thing. And all of that is consistently ever evolving. It's forever changing. You might think one way this uh, today and you'll think another way. You know, the way I thought when I was 15, 25, 35, right, is very different. I don't uh, it's like vastly different, right? But if you ask anybody at the age of 15, they'll be like, yeah, I know who I am, right? This is my true self. Yeah, sure, sure it is, right? Ask anybody at 25, yeah, yeah, yeah I know who I am. You know, this is, this is my true self. Yeah, sure, right. Okay, cool. Let's ask you at 35, right? And then it comes to 35, then it comes to 45, then it comes to 55, and you're like, Jesus, it's so dynamic that you don't actually... You don't know who you really are. And that's what's so great about it. Stop stop trying to figure out the answer and maybe just live in the question. Let's roll.
That's it, And you might return to them. Those were the Darkest Days album will never return. You don't know. Maybe you will return to them at some point. But the great thing about those Darkest Days is that they provided you the knowledge for it. That's the only reason you ever have a memory. The reason you were given a memory is that you can actually look back right and see what happened in your past it wasn't just to to you don't have a memory so that you can reminisce things you have mem- you the reason you have a memory is so that you can look back and see the things that you did that that were done and the consequences of those things and then you draw lessons from it that they can then structure your future that's the, the that's the the fundamental reason for having a, a memory as a human being right and it's not to say that those darkest days won't come again because they will. A human being is only ever five years away from some level of suffering, right? But what's great about that is that you now, through that journey, have the mechanic to, or the mechanics to deal with adver- like with your adversities going forward, right? You now have the tools to um, deal with your next spat of, of darkness in, in a better way. At the end of the day, because you've learned from that, right? So you literally just gain the knowledge, you build the mechanics, you build the learning, and then when you hit it in your future, you're like, okay, I've been through this before. This too shall pass. This is what I need to do. I need to let go of my pride. I needed this. I needed that. I needed that. And then that's how you structure your future better and better and better and better. It's not about succeeding. It's about failing better. That's how, that's literally, it's the entire recipe to life. It's this whole notion of like, oh no, that you've got to, there's a, a definitive point of success actually does not exist, right? It is failing and then failing better and then failing better again and then failing better again, right? We, we fall in souls, man. We make mistakes and we're going to fall into traps all of the times we put ourselves there. But every time we come out of them and we learn from them, we fail better, which is a, a really uh, powerful thing. So you may lie Convey the truth The pain so you won't have to hide Please never second guess these words Okay, now it all just ties in a fable from the silent sun, right? I think that's absolutely fire. So it's almost like it's almost like he's giving him, he's telling you that he's prophet-like to a certain degree. He's obviously not being uh, um, um, that uh, um, sort of arrogant about it. Obviously, he's just saying, you know, I'm just this guy, I'm just this guy, rem- yeah, far removed, right? That could just maybe just uh, impart some knowledge on you so that you don't have to you don't have to travel this road right listen to my wisdom because i've i've lived it at the end of the day which i think is really really cool right so it's almost like your 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 granddad sitting you down and saying like okay this is what happened to me and obviously when you're young you're gonna be ah yeah right whatever boomer whatever 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 and then you get to that point and i fuck shit Fuck, he was right, man. <laughs> it's like, why didn't I listen to him? But that's it's the journey of life, man. That's the journey of life. Uh, the saddest part about life is that youth is given to the young. You know what I mean? It is what it is. A fable of the silent sun. In barren way below we have a deep regret. With ways of anger to respect We face our demons with intentions to protect Our future angels for what's made 
instrumentation on this though. Fire, fire! This goes down to probably one of my favorite songs. If not, if not my favorite, it's sitting up there with with uh, some of my favorites. Because Jesus track is fire. The instrumentation on it, everything. You know what I like about it? And I've said this a few times with the Alter Bridge is that their messaging is so direct, right? They, they don't try to sort of go around the bush and sort of be poetic and uh, um, use too many metaphors. They usually are very good and very direct with their messaging. Like you, you literally you listen to it and you're like, ah, done. This is I know exactly, right? They really are easy people to react to, specifically from my standard of reacting, right? Where I really try to dig deep and I really try to sort of introspect a little bit on the words. And even if I'm, you know, I'm not really hitting the mark every now, every now and again, uh, um, I don't hit the mark. But um, with Alter Bridge, it's it's not it's not hard to hit the mark because they're really it's like we've got something to say and we're going to say it simply. Right, and even though it's it's profound and in depth, they don't try to uh, um, sort of like woo you in with how brilliant they are with their vocabulary and their language. Right, they're like, we want you to catch the message, and we want you to catch the message, pure, clean, and simply. Right, we don't want any of this to be misconstrued as something else, which I really love about the way they construct music. It's fantastic. And sing this song. Fear is the hollow place, the dark beyond The coldest season that I've ever known Miles Kennedy's voice, bro I've learned from so my good. mistakes But it's over now, I've learned from my mistakes Fire Like a Definitely one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites, man. The strings in this were absolutely fantastic. Guitars all epic, but the drumming though was standout. The drumming for me was standout on this, man. It was just so punchy. I loved, loved, loved this track though. Good lord, this is it's gotta go down as my favorite, actually. It's gotta go down as my favorite. This this was fire, fire, fire. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think uh, down below. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.